Nutrition and Diet Therapy. Hello there. In this video, we will explore a very important concept in the world of nutrition and diet therapy, and that is, the nutrition care process. Nutrition care process is an essential tool that will help you assess, diagnose, treat, and monitor your patient's nutritional progress. As a healthcare practitioner, whether you're a registered nurse, nutritionist, or dietitian, your ultimate goal is to restore the state of nutritional balance of your patient by providing safe, high-quality nutrition care. In order to achieve this goal, you need a standardized approach in order to achieve the desired outcome. One essential tool is the nutrition care process. Nutrition care process is a systematic approach to providing high-quality nutrition care. This methodical problem-solving process aims to resolve nutrition-affiliated issues, resulting to more efficient and effective care. The nutrition care process is comprised of four steps, nutrition assessment, nutrition diagnosis, nutrition intervention and nutrition monitoring and evaluation. Nutrition assessment Nutrition assessment is a systematic approach to collect, classify, and synthesize important and relevant data needed to identify nutrition-related problems and their causes. Nutrition assessment is an ongoing dynamic process which involves initial data collection and continual reassessment or analysis of the client's status. To verify the validity and reliability of data, data collection should be appropriate, relevant, and necessary. Selection of assessment tools and procedures should match based on the client's health needs. Data has been validated through interview, observation, measurements, and health record. So what are the appropriate and essential data to be collected during the nutrition assessment? Here are the five domains or categories that will help you guide during nutrition assessment. Food or nutrition related history. Anthropometric measurements biochemical data, medical tests, and procedures, nutrition, focused physical findings, and client history. In food or nutrition-related history taking, you may ask your client about their food and nutrient intake, food and nutrient administration, medication or alternative medicine used, knowledge or beliefs, food and supplies availability, and their usual physical activity. In anthropometric measurements, you will collect data such as height and weight, body mass index, BMI, growth pattern indices, and weight history. Biochemical data and medical tests include your client's laboratory data, and laboratory tests such as electrolytes and glucose, gastric emptying time, and resting metabolic rate. For nutrition, focused physical findings. You need to document your patient's physical appearance, muscle and fat wasting, swallow function, appetite and effect. For client history taking, obtain data such as personal history, medical, health, family history, alternative medicine use, and social history. Step 2. Nutrition Diagnosis Your task in nutrition diagnosis is to identify and describe a specific nutrition problem that can be resolved or improved through treatment or nutrition intervention. In nutrition diagnosis, your task is to identify the problem, determine cause or risk factors associated with the problem, and identify the characteristic symptoms the patient is presenting with. 
nutrition-related problem can be categorized into three domains. One is intake. For example, too much or too little of a food or nutrient compared to actual or estimated needs. Two, clinical. For example, nutrition problems that relate to medical or physical conditions. Three, behavioral or environmental, such as knowledge, attitudes, beliefs, physical environment, access to food or food safety. The nutrition-related problem identified in the nutrition diagnosis phase can now be translated into PES format. P stands for problem or nutrition diagnosis term. It describes alterations in the client's nutritional status. Etiology is the cause or the contributing risk factors and is linked to the nutrition diagnosis term by the words related to. S for signs and symptoms, which is the data or indicators used to determine the client's nutrition diagnosis. Linked to the etiology by the words as evidenced by. Here's an example of nutrition diagnosis statement. Excessive carbohydrate intake as related to unregulated blood glucose levels as evidenced by reported binge eating, weight gain and HbA1c levels of 8.7%. Step 3. Nutrition Intervention In nutrition intervention, it is necessary to plan and implement appropriate nutrition interventions that are tailored to the person's needs. It is important to select intervention to change nutritional intake, nutrition-related knowledge or behavior, environmental conditions, or access to supportive care and services. Nutrition intervention goals provide the basis for monitoring progress and measuring outcomes. Step 4. Monitoring and Evaluation In nutrition monitoring and evaluation, your task is to determine and measure the amount of progress made for the nutrition intervention and whether the nutrition-related goals or expected outcomes are being met. The purpose of nutrition monitoring and evaluation is to assess the effectiveness of nutrition intervention. To measure outcomes by collecting data on nutrition indicators. To compare current findings with previous findings and evaluate impact of the intervention. Determine the amount of progress made and whether goals or expected outcomes are met. Remember this, the ultimate goal of providing nutrition care is to restore the state of nutritional balance by influencing whatever factors are contributing to the imbalance or altered state of nutritional status.